Pope Francis has thought about individuals who blame Catholic religious administrators for sex violations and smoke screens to Satan, while asserting these informants are just looking to reveal sins with a specific end goal to outrage individuals. Is Pope Francis woefully withdrawn from the real world, or would he say he is currently covering for oppressive individuals from the ministry? Amid his Tuesday morning instruction at the House of Prayer of the Santa Marta Living Arrangement, individuals from the Assembly started making this inquiry as the Pope's weighed into his most strange lesson to date. Diocesans who are blamed for injurious sex wrongdoings ought to stay quiet like Jesus on Good Friday when the groups got out for his torturous killing, Pope Francis said Tuesday morning, as per leader Osservatore Romano. At the point when individuals offended Jesus on Good Friday and yelled, kill him, he stayed quiet since he had empathy for those individuals betrayed by the intense. He was quiet. He supplicated, Francis said. Similarly, the minister, in troublesome occasions, in times when the fiend is released, where the minister is charged, denounced by the great accuser through such a significant number of individuals, such a large number of groundbreaking ones endures, offers his life and implores, the Pope said. At the finish of the lesson, Francis welcomed the gathering to appeal to God for the diocesans. Take up the Gospel and read, and see Jesus, and where his power lies. Also, ask the beauty that all ministers may have this specialist, an expert that is a finesse of the Holy Spirit, he said. Tuesday's lecture denoted the fourth event over the most recent two weeks where Pope Francis straightforwardly reprimanded the activity of the individuals who denounce priests, contrasting them with the demon, the incomparable accuser. Briet Bart reports, last week, Francis thought about Vatican informant Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano to Satan, the incomparable accuser. After Vigano discharged I 11 page archive loaded up with charges of the misusing of serial gay abuser Cardinal Theodore McCarrick by high positioning prelates, including the Pope himself. During circumstances such as the present, it appears that the great accuser has been released and has it in for the diocesans, the Pope said. It is valid, we are generally heathens, we religious administrators, he stated. However the great accuser tries to reveal sins with the goal that they might be seen, to outrage the general population. The Pope's reference to the quietness of Jesus before his informers Tuesday mirrors his own choice to deny remarks to correspondents looking to know whether any of the affirmations are valid. At the point when gotten some information about the allegations soon after their production, Francis avoided inquiries from journalists including when he had found out about McCarrick's mishandle, instructing them to peruse the report and make their own evaluation of its validity. Since that time, various priests have condemned the Pope's no-remark media methodology, demanding the claims are intense and that Francis has the obligation to elucidate the certainties to give the responsibility for which he himself has called, 